going to start off with our sagittal midline and you do a lower and then you're going to move up and get an upper, get in the fundus. And then you're going to go transverse and go inferior, down for your feet and you're going to climb all the way up into your outer uterus and then you're going to take a picture of her baby or inner uterus just in the middle, but you're not con concentrating on baby at that time. And then once again, this baby's a little bit bigger than your baby is right now. And this one is about 24 weeks. But again, these babies can lie anywhere in mom's tummy. So once we're done with mom, we're going to concentrate on finding that baby's lie. So let's say, for example, baby's laying like this inside of mom. You're going to take your transducer. And you go find any part of baby. So if this is sagittal, we're going to be, and the baby was lying like this, we would get, be getting the baby cross-sectional during his abdomen area. Then you just slowly rock and turn, rock and turn until you connect the head bone to the backbone. And this would be the fetal lie of the baby, okay? And then... You would go 90 degrees to fetal eye. So if this is fetal eye, you go 90 degrees. This is your roadmap to your baby. So you go, I'm going to tell you, go get the head. And which way would you drive that transducer? You'd go up here and you'd try to get your BPD. However, if the baby's looking down or up, we're not going to get a good BPD. So forget it and go back to the baby and then go down. Let's get a heart. And then you can go down and try to get a femur. Then when the baby turns, you can go back up and get your BPD. But again, I don't want you scanning all of them up. I want you to know where you're scanning. If the baby moves, guess what? Find the baby's lie again and start all over. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you got this little knob right here. You always want that pointing. Um, if you're in the sagittal plane, you're going to want that pointing up toward mom. Okay? So you went ahead and put the gel on. And your first picture is going to be down low, and you want to get one of the bladder and the vaginal canal. Now, looking at that, it's a little bit bright, so we're going to bring down our gain. Our focal zone looks okay. And we'll see baby moving. Let's just say hi to baby first and see that heartbeat. There's the heartbeat. There's the head. Little eyes. So here's bladder, here's vaginal canal, and this is the placenta right here. Now we got part of baby. Now to find the rest of baby, we're going to turn and rock and stretch them out. And that's how the baby's lying right now, transverse almost, with the head over here, right. which is mom's right, okay? And if I angle up toward mom's head, we see spine. Mm -hmm. And here are the ribs, and there's the face, and the eyes, and the mouth. And these are his little arms. There's a hand. Okay, sweet. Mm -hmm. Now if we want to make that baby bigger, we just bring up your gut. You can see the arms. Did we tell you what you're having? Oh, not yet. Did you want to know? Oh, you do? And there's the cord right there. This is where you look for the gender. And here's mm -hmm. the cute little butt. See the little butt? I love butts. I'm a feet person. Uh, I, I love butts. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that's the cord. You got to make sure that's in the way of looking to see what's in between the legs. Okay, so you're having a stinker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone some looks very private. <laughs> It's a girl. <laughs> and there's the eyes, the mouth. Okay, so just to go back and get you your routine, you're going to go sag midline. You're going to get your bladder. And there's echoes in that bladder that we could maybe try to get out a little bit. But if we turn it too far down, we're going to lose our image in the placenta area. So this is what we call artifact. We know that that's really not in there. Here's your vaginal canal. Placenta. It's just like a white stripe here. It's hard to see it on her. 
But you take that, and that would be your sagittal midline, and then you'd climb up and take one of the fundus of the uterus, and that would be your sagittal midline upper. And then you'd go transverse, turning your transducer 90 degrees to the right. You'd go inferior, starting with the bladder, and ride all the way up her uterus till you're all the way out. Now we're out. You come back in, and you're going to take one just somewhere in the middle, and that would be your transverse uterus. Then you're going to find baby's lie, and that's how the baby's lying, just like this. Give me my baby. Where's my big baby? It's up by her head. Oh, okay. So if I angle toward mom's feet, those are eyes. If I angle toward her left shoulder, there's spine. So this baby's lying just like this. So I'm going to go 90 degrees to the fetal eye. And we know the head's over toward mom's right. So here's her head. We're going to try to get a nice BPD by getting a nice oval. Now it's looking up. We want it to move. Come on, sweetie. We want it to turn its head. We're very close. Is that a hand in your face? Now, if we're up here, it's too much of a circle. We're too high. So you want to come down. OK. And see the hypochoic area right here? That's the thalamus. And you see that line going through the middle? That's the fox. This is your area that you want to take your BPD. And then you're going to measure from outer to inner. Okay, and then you're going to do that, and then when you do your head circumference, I'll do that for you right now. Let me just demonstrate for you. So you're going to hit calc, you're going to hit fetal measurements, BPD, and you're going to go outer to inner. Now, and if you, you look at that, it's got, you've got, hmm, exactly. wait. Crown rump. Oh, see what happened when I was playing with the machine? We got that stupid crown rump on there. And it puts her at nine weeks, three days. We got to go to that report and we got to get that out of there. It's going to mess up all our measurements. Mm -hmm. We don't remember what I was showing you, so yeah. that's very important. Mm -hmm. But here's her BPD, and her BPD is getting her at 17 weeks, five days, and measures 3.85. So that's good, and we're going to go ahead and set that. And if that. you froze that, mm -hmm. that image so that the baby moves, it doesn't matter? No, the baby, yeah, it's frozen. So now I can take that same measurement, and we're going to go How come I can't get at it? We're going to go down to head circumference. And on this, you're going to go outer. And you follow the line of the folks to outer. And then when you hit set, you get your cursor. Mm -hmm. I mean, your ellipse. And then if you want to change it, you can move it and kind of tweak it up. And when you like it, you've got a head circumference. At 18 weeks, but you got that same measurement without having to get another picture. <laughs> All right, so we got that, and then we take we got the head, and now we know how baby's lying. Remember, baby's lying like this. That's the vote of the baby. So if I got my head here, I should just have to move down the baby to get the heart. So let's go back and find the head. There's the head. Heart comes after the head, so there's Ooh. the heart. Boom. Now, because this is an older baby, you can do power Doppler. So you're going to hit PW. You can, you can hit your M mode first, get it all set up, put that through, put your power Doppler cursor right through the heart, the gate, and then hit set when you're ready. There's the baby's heart. And then you go to measure, and you go all the way down to fetal heart, hit set, and you're going to, whatever you start, you got to finish. So I'm going to start right here at this line, and then I go one cycle. And that gets you 140 beats, 48 beats per minute. How could you tell you were doing one cycle? Well, it's, um, here, let me take this. Can you do like a waveform? Yeah. 
Um, you can eat, choose wherever you want to go. See the same familiar waveform? This starts and that starts another one. Okay. As long as you're consistent. Same with this. You could take this peak and this peak. Okay. Just as long as they match. Okay. And now, so we beautiful BPD just sitting there waiting mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, I see how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, you guys are gonna go back and get that. So now we're traveling down baby. There's the heart. There's the baby stomach right here. And that's what we would do an abdominal circumference. And I'll just show you this, even though you're not gonna do it. And this has a cine on it. So if you wanna go back a couple frames, you just take your wheel and go back. So I'm going to hit measure. I'm going to go down to um, abdominal circumference. And then here you want to go from the outer edge of the abdomen through the umbilical vein, which is right here, to the outer edge. And then you just go ahead and do the same thing like you did with the head circumference. And you can tweak it a little bit. And so our abdominal circumference gave, gives you a feet of weight of your baby at this time, weighs one pound, eight ounces. So it's got some going to do. And it's 18 weeks, one day, so it's perfect. And we hit set, print, save. Okay. And that's something that you probably don't need to do, but while I'm here, I just went ahead and showed you. And then I'm going to unfreeze. And now we're going down the road of the baby. Baby hasn't really moved much. If you get lost, go to the head, follow the road of the baby. There's heart until you get to femur. Boom, the femurs are sticking right out there. See it? You want to get that whole white bone. And you see the upper trochanter right there. So go ahead and measure. And we have to... How do I get that? I don't know why it does that. So I've got a femur to step out. We go from outer to outer, coming out and then back in. And our femur gets us at do, 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 femur, 17 weeks, three days. So you take all those parameters, we're like around 7.8 weeks, which is fine. All right, so then we're done. We did the scan the whole baby. Then you go back and you play with baby. When you play with baby, you find the lie of the baby and just stay on that face. There's the baby's moving. Look at his mom. Come on, honey. And then you just take cute pictures. You can get pictures of an arm right there. There's his arm. Uh, now, can you get a profile with the position it, this way? Um, no, because he's looking at us. He'd have to be looking straight up. But I like this position because I could get a cute right. face. There's a cute face. You could go. Hi, Mom. All right, whatever you want. Annotate. Where's our annotate? Right. It's at Texas. Okay. Text is F5, so just remember that. Hi, Mom. Okay, let me print that for her. All right, Kathy, go for it.